Cowabunga Party people, today we're doing an animated flick review. Whenever I hear people talk about the DC animated movies, I hear high quality mentioned. And with the exception of The Killing Joke, the ones I've seen, yeah, high quality is a good, good term for it. Particularly 2019's Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The concept of teaming up Batman with the Ninja Turtles seems crazy, seems silly, seems weird. Um, and it is, but when you think about the Foot Clan with Shredder, it makes sense that, sure, they could team up with uh, the League of Shadows. Raz, Raish, whatever you want to call his name, uh, the Al Ghul who is in the DC Universe with his ninjas. Makes sense that they would team up. So, if the bad guys make sense, why might well have the heroes come in to do something. And as weird as it sounds, they make it work beautifully. The Batman portrayal, pretty spot on. Uh, I dig the blue and gray suit. I really hope the movies one day give me my spandexy blue and gray suit. Um, they keep talking about the Robert Pattinson movie might be doing something like that. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, his personality's good. He's not the... I'm Batman and nothing can stop me, Batman. He's just... The Dark Knight detective out there trying to do some good. And, um... Shredder beats him senseless at one point. Like, actually causes some bleeding. That's impressive. Of course, Batman comes back later. And, uh... Yeah! Uh, the rest of the Bat family is portrayed very, very well. Uh, Alfred, in particular, is an amusing bit. Uh, the Robin they use is, of course, Damian Wayne. Uh, who I never cared for in the comics until... Uh, beginnings into the uh, New 52 way back in the day. Uh, now, I enjoy him as a character, and he handles very well as the little kid who's not happy that, why are there turtles in my dad's cave? Why am I having to work with these losers? Can't we just beat up these ninjas and not bring in the weirdos? Uh, no kid, deal with it. Even Batgirl gets in on it, and they treat her well. They give her stuff to do. She's handled decently. A great improvement from whatever in the world the Killing Joke movie was. I really didn't like the Killing Joke movie. It was it was an utter disappointment, and DC should be ashamed of themselves for allowing such weak quality to come out. But past my DC fanboyism, how are the turtles? The turtles are great. They're everything you've always liked about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's all there. A little bit of the 1990 movie, a little bit of the recent cartoons, a healthy dose of the comics, uh, the animated series, uh, particularly toys from the animated series line showing up to do some cool stuff. Uh, they handled the turtles really good. Um, it's it's a Nickelodeon crossover, so it is like whatever Nickelodeon's new version of the turtles are, but it works. It, works. it handles well. Um, Michelangelo is a hum is a humorous um, ball of joy. Um, he spends most of it pointing out how weird Gotham is, but in a great way. He likes all of Batman's villains because they're goofy, and he likes blimps. He points out why are there blimps just flying around in a modern city? Because it's cool. That's why. The villains: Rachel Ghoul and Shredder, League of Shadows. Foot Clan. Two ninjas. Two angry ninja leaders who want to run everything. Mutants. Uh, ooze transforming people. One person gets turned into a dinosaur. The little fly scientist from Ninja Turtles. I'm not as well versed in Ninja Turtles as I am, DC. Please forgive me. It was a little before my time. Um, it's good. Batman's rogues gallery shows up. At least a few of them do. <laughs> the handling of Poison Ivy is priceless. Oh, it's priceless. 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 Joker and Harley there because it's a Batman property and a day ending and why. They, they can't let those characters go. Overall, I would recommend this heavily. 
Um, if you're a DC animated fan, you've probably already seen it. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to. If you're a Ninja Turtles fan, you need to see this because it's enjoyable and you don't get a whole lot of new Turtles content very often. If you're a Batman fan, the Turtles do not upstage Batman. It is equal and perfect, and they nicely set up a sequel where the Bat family might have to go to New York because Batman didn't get to meet Splinter, and that's a meeting I really want to see happen. Highly recommend. Watch this flick.